I want to ride my speeder bike. I want to ride my speeder bike. According to a French car commercial, Solo A Star Wars Story might signal the return of our favourite open-air repulsor lift vehicles. Thank you, Wikipedia. But will we ever get to ride one on this here planet Earth? And how close to the Star Wars version will it ever be? I asked these very questions to a bike expert. I am with Tim Aitken Smith, aka the man, the face, the everything for Rarefied Road, a YouTube channel all about bikes. He is the bike man. Is that a good enough introduction for you, Tim? Um, yeah. It's Rarefied, but Rarefied. 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 And it's all about bikes. It is about bikes. You love bikes. I don't love you? bikes, yeah. So we are all gathered here today because I need an answer to a question I'm about to pose to our resident bike expert. And this is very important to me. You know, so uh, at least indulge me. How likely is it that we'll ever get a Star Wars style speeder bike? Ooh, it is extremely likely. Jay. Extremely likely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do continue. <laughs> uh, so yeah, a few months ago you asked me about a clip in particular. That was kind of what uh, sparked this off for you, wasn't it? You saw this something was sparked which was off tantalizing from a close. very young age. You know, when I first saw a ton of Jedi. Those bikes are cool, man. But then, yes, a video. That I yeah. saw. A video surfaced. Um, I think people have done similar things to this, but this is the most viable so far. It's called the Scorpion 3. It hails from America. And it's a bit of a Kickstarter. They're getting people to invest in it early so they can develop these things and hopefully create what would be a, I guess, a speeder bike, but it's more of a hover bike, really. It's kind of a, a, a drone that you can ride. How fast? Uh, okay, so as far as the actual specs of the thing, it goes, or it used to say it goes 40, uh, sorry, 30 miles an hour, and they've recently upped that to 48, I believe. 48, so 30 to 48, that's that's a decent jump, but 48. I want, I want, I want faster, I want, you know, Ewoks to be holding on for dear life. Yeah. Can we get to that level? Yeah, I have a, uh, a key fact, which I'm not sure if you know. I was reviewing Try the footage. Try me. I was reviewing the footage uh, of the speeder bikes in Star Wars and trying to work out what speed they do, but I didn't need to because someone has already done that for me. Do you know what speed the speeder bikes go at? This is fictional speed, we should, <laughs> we should add. And I'm not looking at your laptop. I'm not a cheat. Um, do I know what fictional speed they allegedly went at yet? They allegedly went at, okay, so in kind of Star Wars canon, the mm -hmm. speed, yeah. um, 120 miles per hour. Did you not read that? I didn't read that, <laughs> obviously it didn't, it, it does say 120, you know what, maybe I, maybe I looked at it. I'm not actually sure if I cheated, I like to think I didn't cheat, but I possibly glanced at, yeah, okay, 120 miles per hour. I possibly glanced at your screen and maybe subconsciously those three digits in that particular order entered my head. You've taken the impact that. away from me there a little bit, stolen it, some might say, but... Uh, so 120 miles, so how is this Allegedly measured? 120 miles measured? Measured? So it's to do with the way that they filmed it, and actually uh, there's this nice link, which I can actually give to you if you want to sort of include it in the comments, the description. Yeah. This actually says about how it's recorded on a kind of an early gyro for a camera, you know, the gimbals that we've got nowadays to make sure that it takes out the bounce. And uh, they walked through the forest uh, and recorded at three quarter the speed so they could then okay. speed up the footage afterwards and it'd run at 24 frames a second. Right. If that makes sense. So it was the, the three quarter speed and the sped up to 120 frames per second, judging on him walking around four miles an hour, which is kind of an average speed actually, gets up to around 120 miles an hour is what they were going for with the look behind the speed bikes. Okay, and how does that compare to your everyday bikes, the kind of bikes that you review? Oh, the ones on the I review? Yeah. Uh, I mean, my last three have been 120 miles an hour. But then I suppose the difference is here that, well, yours exist, um, but also <laughs> that you're on open roads. Yes. Like these, buzzing around the forest moon of Endor, trees, trees everywhere. Yeah, dangerous, yeah. Very dangerous. Don't try it at home if you live on Endor. It's, it's dangerous. Do you think we can ever get there? I'm not with the current... Gen, if you like, not with the current technology they're using, because if you look at the what started this all off, that Scorpio 3, the Scorpio 3 is, as I say, essentially an unmanned drone, which in a sense is kind of like a helicopter in the way that it performs. If you look at the clip again, you'll see that when he uses his brakes, uh, Luke, I believe is his name, and he uses yes. the brakes. <laughs> 
Good. Well done. Uh, yeah, I, I researched this before. Um, and then the, obviously the nose dips when it breaks, which mm. would be typical of a motorbike. But the physics of a helico helicopter or anything with a rotor or a fan is that when you have to brake, you actually have to push air that way. So in braking, you sort of lift up, which is really boring and pedantic uh, problem to find with it. But they do this. But those propellers, they look dangerous. They can take dangerous. someone's head off. They yeah. mow your lawn as well, which would be which is quite very nice, fun way to mow your lawn, but dangerous. It's very dangerous, yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, the size of them and the speed they would need to be spinning at, originally they were made of wood in their prototype, which was listed as probably costing about $150,000. Wow. Yeah. And that was the rubbish one. That's that an expensive lawnmower. Lawn that is an expensive lawnmower. Yeah, you can get them cheaper. Um, so that thing could only go 30 miles an hour. It uh, had a rubbish battery life as well, and it had wooden propellers. Uh, so if you came off, you're probably going to lose a limb if you got mangled up with those. That's they have since improved it. Right, okay. They've given it plastic ones. Slightly less dangerous? Yeah, a lot less dangerous. And this is the quicker version that you mentioned. This is the quicker version. 48 miles per uh, Sorry, 43. I got it wrong, but 43. <laughs> We're so close. One job, one job, Tim. <laughs> We're nowhere near. Tell us but, about bikes. Okay. I'll give you something else. I know I know the bikes thing, right? But I really wanted to look this up and not just sort of make up facts for you. And Which you ended up doing. I've made up some facts. 48 miles sure. per hour. You promised me. <laughs> it's 43. 43. It's close enough. This is it at Speedway, which is just ridiculous. I mean, if you did it on a road, you wouldn't notice as slow as it was going. The fact that it's on a Speedway. So these are people. They're loving it. They're paid cheering for to it. look happy because that's not exciting. That's not very fast. Look at that. That's not even, that's not 43 miles an hour. Like, a human being can run about, tw uh, no, but, top speed, about 28 miles an hour. If you think about Hus Hussein Bolt, he can do about 28 miles an hour, I believe. Right, yeah. Right. Which is pretty close to the original speed of the original Scorpion 3. And is definitely faster than that was going in the clip. And everyone was applauding that. Okay, two positives. Yeah. One, these are probably cheaper than Usain Bolt. Yes. To buy Usain Bolt would probably cost you a lot more sure. uh, of, of your money. Uh, secondly... You can imagine if you cladded that out to look a bit more like a Star Wars speeder bike, you could almost pull it off, and it sort of shows that maybe there is potential to me just seeing that clip there. Yeah, I suppose there just is potential. The okay, here's the potential. It's and hovering. It's hovering, okay? It is moving, and actually, the world record for a drone is 163 miles an hour for a drone. Okay. Which is the same technology, it is four fans or four rotors um, on something which hovers off the ground. But it's not carrying a human. It. Not carrying a human, but even 163. So if you scale that down, you can get drones that can do about 115 or something. And that's still improving. This is the current world record. That will get better. So we're not there yet, but there is hope. There, yeah, yes, there is hope. A fool's hope, perhaps. Yeah, no, I think they're going to have them at some point. It's just a case of when. It's going to be a fair amount in the future, I would I say. quoted a wizard there, by the way. Thank you for watching, and if you like bikes that aren't speeder bikes, I call them lamer bikes, then head to Tim's channel over at Rarefied Road. Rarefied Road. Rarefied Road. Whatever it's called, there's a link in the description. Good tidings.